And I've come somewhere that I've wanted to come for a long time, ever since I saw the pictures of it first being built. Because I've never actually been anywhere. I've got an entire place, like a performance center, which like Adam Scott was here like a few days ago, all to ourselves, just to make this video. This is mad. This is so, so cool. Just come here, Titleist Performance Centre at Woburn by appointment only. And this is built to basically accommodate tour pros and to really have a tour focused fitting feel. This place is just, it's amazing. It's so good. Right, check this out for a start. So you'd be coming in here, entrance, obviously all the signage. So basically today, I am the only person here. So all this is at our disposal for the video to get fit for a set of irons. Coming through here, these are big, massive bifold doors. Hitting surface here, got all the clubs in there. Got a tour fitting workshop. <laughs> all the machines you could ever need to get fit with the perfect set of clubs. So this is built to mimic the Titleist tour truck. So what you see on tour, got a replica of Spieth's club here, the shot that he won on the way to win the Open at Birkdale. That famous shot from like by the side of the Titleist tour truck, which I'm pretty sure like if you're a conspiracy theorist, you'd probably say, mm, did he mean to play it? And then this is where we're going to be getting set up today to get fit. Now this is maybe one of the coolest things about this whole place. <laughs> so this little truck, this is based on what uh, NASCAR teams use in the US. So it's like a battery powered mobile fitting truck. So we've got like all the different drawers in here. So we've got all the different shafts, all the different clubs. Almost got here and I'm kind of like a bit nervous about getting fit. I quite like it in, it's quite like, and this is Nick, he's going to be doing our fitting today. And what's your official title? Master Fitting Specialist here at the Performance Centre at Woburn. So here we go. So we've got T100, it's a new T-series. So T100, uh, Jordan Spieth put that in the bag just uh, prior to the Open this year. Um, worked very well for him. Um, did he do all right, did he? He, he went not bad, actually. He was all right, yeah. 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 I heard he's a decent golfer. He's got a good future, hasn't he? I think he'll do all right. He'll make yeah, it too good. I think so. T100S, so also new addition, new generation. And we've got T200 and 300. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you hit your current iron. Mm -hmm. We'll get some numbers based on that. We'll talk through the performance of your iron. We're basically going to hit each model. Okay. Uh, again, we'll look at uh, the performance. We'll assess how you like the look, the feel, and talk about what you're looking for in an iron and basically dial it in from there. Okay. D yeah, just to warn you, I've just been saying, um, I'm, I'm literally feeling quite nervous. Right. Like, this, is quite, <laughs> this is quite intense like, to have this whole place to ourselves. <laughs> It's a great setup. I mean, I say we've got plenty of time, so you know, feel at home, get comfortable. Um, it's just us, so no pressures of uh, anybody else. Just us and just us, the a few of our fans. Yeah. With some of the irons I've been hitting recently, um, I've been seeing it going a little bit higher. Yeah. But I don't mind the high launch as long as I can feel I've got a little bit more kind of control. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, so that's pretty representative of shape and... That's kind of what you like to see. What I want to see. Uh, so your club head speed that you bring to the table, on average, that last shot in particular, 90 miles an hour, as you're getting warmed up, plenty of speed, on average, 88 and a half. Your ball speed, how fast it comes off the club face, uh, one, how much you middle it, and also any technology in that golf club. So those numbers we'll kind of uh, benchmark against. Okay. Um, so what we'll do now, I'm going to give you um, each model from the T-Series, okay. and we're going to hit four or five with each. Uh, we'll get feedback from yourself on looks, feel, we'll obviously monitor the performance, uh, and then we'll review it and see perhaps what's best suited to you and kind of go from there and dial Perfect. it in. Cool, love it. All right, let's, uh, let's put something together. Sounded a good strike. That was better, yeah. Yeah, so again, let's highlight that one as, as a better strike. Ball speed 126, so great, great mm. amount of ball speed. Launched it close to 16 degrees, spun at 8,000, so a lot more spin. Mm. Peak height was higher, land angle was steeper, and it flew close to 170. Pretty close distance wise to your current iron, but I would argue there's perhaps on the better flight. Just a bit more of a launch, yeah. yeah. But let's, uh, let's give you T100S a try, shall we now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So T100 we would call our modern tour player iron. Mm -hmm. This one we would call our faster tour player iron. Right, okay. So we've gained ball speed. Mm -hmm. So we talked about the technology in the club head versus 100 and yeah, potentially yeah. your own. So we've gained in ball speed close to four or five miles an hour. Um, we still cre uh, kept launch conditions, so launching at 15 degrees, spin on average close to 7,000, where we'd want it, flying higher on average at 103 feet, Okay. land angle on average 49, flying 179 through the air. So not only have we given you a great ball flight, but we've actually, not intentionally, given you more distance. It definitely feels a bit better off the face to me. Yeah. I mean, I would say performance-wise and dis dispersion-wise from you hitting 100, this is a lot tighter. Okay. Right, what have we got now? T200. Not fully forged like the previous two you've been hit, but it has got a forged face. Okay. Yeah, yeah I definitely don't like... It's not quite as tight as the previous one, is it? Yeah, just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel quite, yeah, quite as nice. Not quite as controllable. So loft, it's 31 degrees off this one, which is actually weaker than the previous generation. Right, okay. Sorry. We haven't quite finished. I've got T300 for you. All oh, right, the helpers. Okay, so, I uh, like it. Give this one a go for me. It's a bit of a departure from... Uh, Different visual? T100, isn't it? It's all crikey. I suppose that's the advantage though, because that was thin. You'll get plenty of mileage out of it. Yeah, it managed to pick up in the air really well, yeah. actually. Feel off the face? Not as no. nice as the. Not uh, as nice as where we've, nah, where we've nah. come from. That's fine. Not. Uh, That's fine. It's just a bit more. It, well, I mean, it just feels a bit more springy. Okay. It just yeah. feels a bit more. When I'm hitting it, it just feels a bit more powerful, a bit more. Yeah. A bit more hollow. So we started with T100. Uh, ball speed went up. So we went to 125. We've increased our launch slightly at 15, spinning a lot more, steeper land angle, for a, a small gain in distance, arguably. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then again, as we as we continue to trend through the T-Series, um, what we typically see is a gain in ball speed. So again, T100S, were the one we got on particularly well with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, jumped up to 130 ball speed. Again, we look through launch conditions, again, close to 15, spinning at 7,000. And again, look, uh, land angle close to 50. So we're getting that control. We're getting more spin. Mm. Um, we've given you more ball speed as well. So we've got a bit more forgiveness in there at the same time, what you stated on earlier. And just happens to be going further. Distance wasn't something that necessarily we were searching for. No. It's just been a product of a nice ball flight or a better ball flight. As we went up to T200, as uh, so we've moved from fully forged to just a forged face. Uh, again, ball speed went up. But if we come across here to your uh, Average spin rate there, 6,700, so we've dropped off, and that is the pattern that we've seen. Okay. Haven't lost anything in land angle, still around 50, uh, 50 degrees there, so we have still got that descent into the green and able to access different flags. Um, but again, I would just say that for someone like yourself, the feel was probably a bigger factor in that over 100S from your, from your feedback. Yeah. Um, and then we finished up there with T300. Again, ball speed, increase in ball speed, but then another, another drop off in spin. Launch angle a little bit lower, a little bit less loft on the club face initially. Um, so slightly lower there. And then as a result of that, we've got a, a slightly shallower land angle. So again, perhaps not the descent or the control that we're looking for. Yeah. So based off those four irons that we've hit, I think we'd both agree that T100, T100S was the most performing iron. Yeah, definitely. Um, so what we would do now is we'll move into just trying to fine tune that. We'll try some different shafts. We'll check in on lie angle and things like that. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. So what we're looking for here shaft wise is obviously maintaining our dispersion. Yeah. The one thing I can't necessarily measure is feel. So mm -hmm. obviously I'm relying on you there to give me a bit of feedback. Great strike. Yeah, I felt nice. Compared to Dynamic Gold X100, how does that shaft feel? Does it feel easier, harder? Um, I'd probably say slightly easier. Yeah. Let's give you uh, Project X. Project X. Oof, I've got a. You're not a fan of Project X. I've got a. I've got a mixed pass with Project X. Is that right? Yeah. Go on, hit me with it. Well, now I just remember getting Project X in my, like when I was first, first second year assistant. 
and I got them because everyone had them. Yeah, okay. And I, yeah, it just didn't work for a year. Yeah. But I was, de I was determined, but it just never, everyone never came to fruition. Them, I'm going to use them. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Just whenever I get like a Project X now, I, I don't know if it's just more of a, yeah, okay. like a mental thing around yeah, it. But brings back some memories. Yeah, it's just. Gotcha. That's all right. I've got a couple more for me. It's not all right. I'm scarred by my past, <laughs> mate. Here's your opportunity to change it. To change. That's right. Yeah. I mean, it feels nice. Again, that previous one, the AMT white, just seemed to allow you a little bit more control, a bit mm. more consistent shape. Would you argue with that or? No, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't argue. I think Project X, I mean, what is this? 6.5. 6. It just feels a bit. I mean, it's very rigid. It just it yeah. feels a little, just a tiny bit more hard work, maybe. Yeah, gotcha. Um, Makes sense. Nah. Okay. Nah. Well, I'd say that we've mm. found our shaft and yeah. our lie angle. We've so what? Tested. Two so degrees flat. Two still. degrees flat, standard length, AMT white, X100. So after 6,000 balls hit, we are now in the boardroom where Nick is going to very simply summarize what we've been through and the makeup of the clubs, which I'll be using. So what we got, what have we got? Okay, so obviously we started off with your current irons. We tested those, just reminding ourselves of how they performed. So we had a ball speed of 123, uh, but it was more about the launch uh, and ball flight performance is where we seem yeah. to get, get the gain. So it was launching at, yours currently launching at uh, 14 degrees, spinning on average, uh, just about 6,700. Land angle of 46 degrees, so quite shallow, and flying 171 through the air. Of the new T-Series that we tried, uh, the ones that seemed to perform the best, T100S um, in the AMT White X100 shaft, we got a gain of ball speed to 129. The launch angle increased to 15 degrees. It spun more close to 6,800. The land angle was steeper, uh, closer to 50 degrees, so a bit more control. We talked about that front pin mm. scenario. Um, and it wasn't a goal that we set out to achieve, but it just happens to go further as well. It's 180 yards yeah. uh, through the air I mean, um, and very tight and consistent. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things because obviously with my Mizuno irons MP20, you know, they're a really good iron and there's nothing stopping me from using those and continuing to be very happy with them. Yeah. But it's just this extra little fine detail of it's basically launching high, descending a little bit steeper, yeah. sp spinning, yeah, spinning more, spinning more yeah. and just then going also a little bit further, which is it almost, to go it, it's not so much a bonus because it's just, you know, your irons go the distance that they go yeah. and I'll have to re-gap a little bit. Yeah. But everything there combined just adds up to having that extra little bit of advantage over yeah. over the Mizuno, so. And I, you know, as I talk about ball flight performance um, and, you know, distance dispersion and descent is kind of what we focus on um, and giving you that control and that and, and that's what we've achieved. Lie angle for yourself was two degrees flat. Again, just helping your shot shape and your preferred miss, if you mm -hmm. like. Um, but, uh, yeah, all, all around a, a successful fitting and, uh, you know, we obviously hope that you enjoyed it and that you would uh, put those clubs in the bag and uh, enjoy playing some good golf. Awesome, mate. Thank you. Thanks, so, Pete. so much. Thanks Pleasure. for having me down, so Thank I really appreciate it. Wow, that was, um, that was pretty sick, as the kids say. Um, we've come out of that with a set of irons, wasn't really expected. I think it was going to be the T100s, and I didn't really know much about the T100Ss, but that stronger loft, the higher launch, the descent, and the feel was really good. That's one thing I wasn't really alluding to too much within the fitting, but the actual feel of those irons, very solid, very similar to the Mizunos. I mean, if you'd have asked me to hit them side by side, I'd have struggled to really tell you which one was the Mizuno. And to have that kind of in-depth fitting and to really get into the nuances of the numbers, that's awesome. It's only a very small fraction of probably what you would see the Tour Pros do here. You know, they'd be dialing down into the smallest decimal places, but then again, they could find the center of the club a little bit more than me. So I'm excited to get this set of irons, get out onto the golf course and see what they're like, but grass range, being able to hit to all these different positions. What an amazing place. This is very un-British. <laughs> so people watching the US, you might think, well, you know, we, we have a few of these over here, but like in the UK, this is pretty rare. To have a grass range in the UK is pretty rare. Never mind having this facility and literally having it all to ourselves. Just want to say a massive thank you to Nick and for Titleist for actually having me down. This is an experience that not many people will have the opportunity to have. But also, once more, a huge thank you for you guys for watching, 
for subscribing to the channel. It allows us to come to places like this, make these videos. Hopefully the information from today you have found useful and you have enjoyed watching. So guys, thank you so, so much. I'll see you next time.